Hello everyone. Hope your learning is going good. Today I am here with another knowledge sharing session on orifice plates. So, uh the the content of this topic which we I we will be covering will be the design consideration of orifice plates and the standards which is being used widely used uh, for con- design consideration is ISO 5167. So, let's begin. so uh, before starting uh, the this session i want uh, you to make it clear with any uh, the three flow meters terminology the first one is repeatability Act- repeatability defines the ability of a flow meter to indicate the same value of an identical flow rate on more than one occasion and uh, uh, repeatability should never be confused with accuracy good repeatability does not guarantee accuracy this line is important turn down ratio is maximum divided by minimum flow what transmitter can read with good accuracy flow meter accuracy how precise or correct flow measurement are to the actual or uh, uh, actual value or actual flow rate flow meter accuracy statements can be expressed as a percentage of either flow rate full scale percentage of span and percentage of ul so uh, uh you can see that the orifice plate uh has a very less turn down ratio 4 is to 1 so minimum flow which can be read without any inaccuracy is 25% of the maximum flow only coriolis is a good have the good turn down ratio 80 is to 1 1.25% of maximum flow rate can be read without any inaccuracy or accurately and uh, in this diagram we can see that uh, for the less flow for the lesser flow the error is very much high uh, uh, as compare uh, this is 1% of the uh, uh, error and uh, and uh, uh, this uh, for full scale the error is very less and uh, the the 1% 1 if the error uh, the accuracy is given in terms of url then the accuracy the error will be less at lower stage so uh, yeah so uh, we should have a f- uh, we should have full scale uh, accuracy uh, to have a good result at the lower flow rate so yeah coming to the next slide uh, the standards of flow nozzles venturi and orifices are 5 or 6 and this is widely used uh, you can read the detail uh, from this presentation uh, i have mentioned all the details which is necessary for uh, this uh, session and uh, the another uh, another uh, standard is bs1042 this is british standards uh, it is not being u- widely used actually iso is being widely used so uh, all the uh, actually bs is more used for the design of any orifice uh, this is because uh, if for eccentric and concentric and square edged orifice the, the all the standards are being used uh, being followed from this standard only So, and another standard is ASME MFC dash three M. This is specify the geometry and method of use of orifice plates, nozzles, and venturi tips when they are inserted in a conduit running full. And um, so uh, yeah, you can read other things also. And uh, uh, the main thing is the basic manufacturer shall be accordance with the latest ISO and ANSI data using the ISO five one six seven sizing equation. ISO 5168 for accuracy standards and ISO 5024 for volumetric standards here you can see uh, one API standard is also mentioned API RP 550 and 551 installation of refining instruments and control system uh, this is the API standards in which orifice installation uh, and design consideration is covered and the rest are the ISO standards uh, like 5024567 and 5 one six eight so uh, so these three are the main standards which are being followed and uh, coming to the next slide design factor of orifice plate sizing there are eight number of factors first of first is the size of the pipe orifice plate can be used from pipe size of 2 inch to 24 inch below 2 inch actually the, uh, the, the there is a permanent pressure drop so uh, we uh, don't prefer uh, orifice side orifice installation uh, less than for 2 inch and orifice plate for line size greater than 24 inch designing orifice plate is very difficult due to large size flange rating 
डिज़ाइन और फिज प्लेट्स आर अवेलेबल विद डिफरेंट फ्लैग रेटिंग ऑब्वियसली फ्रॉम क्लास वन फिफ्टी टू क्लास ट्वेंटी फाइव हंड्रेड एंड दिस इज बींग इन लाइन विद ए एस एम ई बी सिक्सटीन पॉइंट थ्री सी स्टैंडर्ड्स आई विल बी कवरिंग दिस स्टैंडर्ड्स इन द कमिंग स्लाइड इन द कमिंग यू नो सेशन सो जनरली अवॉइड क्लास वन फिफ्टी रेटिंग और फिस द रीजन इज दैट द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ द क्लास वन फिफ्टी रेटिंग और फिस इज नॉट एज गुड एज वी रिक्वायर so type of the fluid is the third third uh, 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 third point the type of the fluid required because this parameter is used for deciding the type of orifice plate if the uh, slurry uh, process is there then we need to uh, use uh, you know segmental one so uh, this is also a very important factor material of construction uh, actually uh, this is due to uh, if the process is corrosive then we need to change the material so ss316 is widely used material for normal air and water alloy 400 is much, uh, widely used in marine application and distillation plant this is because alloy 400 has a very low rate of corrosion you know so alloy 62 c276 has excellent corrosion resistance in both oxidizing and reducing environment also so uh, you will see this material also in case of uh, corrosive service but this is little costly so uh, yeah so the next point can be pressure and flow rate of a fluid I, we, we know that flow is directly proportional to root of delta p and uh, uh, using an orifice plate means uh, permanent pressure drop in the process is always there so um, yeah yeah we should see the rangeability also uh, you know if the transmitter can read 100 100 uh, if the transmitter rangeability is 100 is to 1 then the flow rangeability will be 10 is to 1 so we should use a differential transmitter with an appropriate turn down ratio generally 2 200 is to 1 thus it is possible to achieve a flow rangeability of 20 is to 1 or 10 is to 1 accordingly so other parameter this is a very important parameter beta ratio beta ratio is a small d by capital d that is orifice bore divided by pipe bore so beta ratio of any orifice plate usually and 99.9% time you will see that less than 0.2 and should not be greater than 0.7 so uh, less Uh, the, if the beta ratio should between uh, is less than 0.2 then that means orifice bore rate is relatively smaller orifice bore diameter is relatively smaller higher flow restriction will be there higher pressure drop will be there more prof- more probability of permanent pressure drop exceeds expected ppl consider, uh, considered in processed hydraulics higher chance of cavitation and flashing and increase uncertainty and decrease accuracy and if beta ratio is point uh, greater than 0.7 then orifice bore bore diameter is relatively bigger lower flow restriction lower pressure drop difficult to measure lower pressure and increase uncertainty and so we should maintain the beta ratio between 0.7 0.2 and 0.7 so uh, renolds number uh, of the fluid of selection uh, uh, orifice plate uh, renold number actually is the uh, density divided by vis- uh, viscosity how viscous is the force how viscous is your material so depending on the uh, renold number we can see uh, we can define that if the renold number are between 10 to 1500 then concentric orifice type is should be used and between 300 to 12000 eccentric and 15 to 900 quadrant and after that uh, segmental type of orifice can be used and renold number uh, r- relation with laminar and turbulent flow is mentioned on the right side uh that if it is less than 2300 that is laminar flow between 2300 to 4000 transient and more than uh, more than uh, 4000 that is uh, turbulent this this uh, mark is not correct actually it should be like this yeah so uh, you can see that uh, 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 this is the graph of discharge coefficient versus renolds number so so for uh, less renolds number concentric type is used as the renolds number are getting increased eccentric and then quadrant edge or face type is being used so uh, other is the location of the pressure tap uh, which impact the design uh, de- design uh, design point of the orifice plate you can see that this is the flange type and yeah yeah if uh, you are taking the uh, hp and lp tapping from here uh, immediately from the flange and from the vena contracta vena contracta is if this is the vena contracta point so uh, uh, lp is from there and hp is will be from one d of the uh, thread 
so this is the vena contrata taps so radius tap is uh, very simple it should be 1d and half d d and d and d by 2 this is called the d and d by 2 uh, and corner traps are uh, you can see uh, uh, here uh, these are the flange tabs and here these are connected so these are the corner tabs yes these are the corner tabs so uh, what are the requirement of con tabs flange tab preferred from line size uh, 2 inch and larger manufacturer of the orifice said drills the tab so that the uh, center lines are in 1 inch from the orifice plate surface and um, flange tabs are not recommended below 2 inch so a vena contactor and radius tap uh, uh, these taps are 1d uh, up steam and uh, down steam tap located at the point of minimum pressure that is the vena contractor pressure right and uh, unfortunate characteristics of both these taps is requirement of drilling through the pipe well wall uh, and the corner taps if you can see corner tap must be used for a smaller pipe diameter where the vena contractor is so close to the down steam face of the orifice plate that is down steam phase would sense pressure in the highly turbulent region so uh, their corner tab should be used you can see that uh, uh, vena contracta this is the vena contracta point so this and uh, this is the vena contracta and uh, these two are the corner yes these two are the corner taps and uh, uh, this is the flange this is the flange body so this is the flange taps and uh, uh, fine so uh, you can see this is the pressure and uh, we have a pressure drop and then some recovery is there so finally some delta p is always there so the, this is the permanent uh, pressure loss so uh, this is the design consideration of uh, considering uh, the flange tap of any orifice so uh, now coming to the types of orifice plate if you can see the type will be concentric eccentric and segmental these are the photograph this is the concentric holes this is the segmental and this is the eccentric uh, where the uh, center point is not matching with the hole and if we talk about the edges of the orifice plate then the square edge square edge conical edge and quadrant edge this is the square edge this is the conical edge and this is the quadrant edge uh, uh, you can see that these these are the some photographs of uh, uh, standard uh, orifice so uh, yeah for more detailed uh, view this is the quadrant this is the quadrant edge and this is the conical edge this is the conical edge this is the flow inlet and this is the conical yeah the, 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 this angle should be 45 so the, uh, you can see this is the square live photo of uh, square edge and this is uh, you know uh, uh, conical conical shape of uh, orifice so coming to uh, some hydraulic part of the orifice plate there are three four type of actually coefficient is there coefficient of contraction the average value of coefficient of contraction is 0.64 this is these values are considered while designing any orifice uh, coefficient of velocity that should be 0.98 and coefficient of discharge this is important coefficient of discharge is coefficient of construction plus co into co uh, coefficient of velocity cd is equal to cc in cc into cv so this should uh, this this value should be around 0.662 and uh, these are uh, these are the some uh, theoretical formulas you may uh, read and all the coefficient value should be less than one that that, that that is the thumb rule and the coefficient of resistance is the ratio of loss of head in the orifice to the head of water available at the exit of the orifice is known as the coefficient of resistance so th these are the some uh, you know uh, theoretical part of uh, while designing an orifice so coming to one picture which depicts the coefficient of discharge versus Reynolds number uh, we have already discussed that if Reynolds number are quite less than concentric first concentric uh, square as is used after that uh, if we move towards right hand side then eccentric and after that quadrant edge will be used and um, uh, if we uh, have a greater co coefficient of discharge then venturi will come into picture and after that magnetic flow will come into the picture and uh, uh, after quadrant edge the flow orifice will come then venturi will come so uh, like this and if the you know uh, the
the Reynolds number are less and coefficient discharge is very high then integral orifice should be preferred and like this we actually decide which type of orifice should be used so this is the relation between coefficient of discharge this is a very important factor actually while deciding any uh, orifice plate type of orifice plate so i think i covered all the important aspects of uh, designing any uh, orifice plate and uh, so uh, this is all for this knowledge sharing session i will be covering uh, uh, i will be covering bs 16.34 the flange standard for any orifice in the com in the coming session and if you uh, like the video please subscribe my channel and promote it uh, as more as possible thank you